Hi, I'm Todd. I'm the pastor at Peace Lutheran Church, and we welcome you to Peace Children's Church. Welcome to all of you kids from Peace Lutheran Church, from Little Doves Preschool, and from Zion Lutheran School. We're excited to have you back again this week. We're going to have a lot of fun with the puppets and song and uh, prayers, and we'll have a lot of fun today. I hope you enjoy our time together. Let's get started with a prayer. Open, shut, open, open shut. shut. Give a little clap. Open, shut, open, shut. Fold that little cap. Open, shut, open, shut. Open, shut. Fold open, them in, in your lap. lap. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For letting us get together today. For letting us get together today. Help us to learn. Help us to learn. How you love us. How you love us. And help us to love you. And help us to love you. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get started. We have a brand new song for you today. We're going to sing, This is My Commandment. Follow along with Kim and she'll teach you the actions. Okay, you ready? This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. One more time. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. Help me, help me, help me, help me. I you have to hide me. Uh, I gotta hide. Uh, Sigmund, what, what, what's the matter? Well, I'm, I'm afraid. What, what are you afraid of? Well, well, just listen. Sigmund, you get down here and wash your hands. Did you hear that? She wants me to wash my hand. My mom wants me to wash my hand. And I don't want to do it. It's my hand. I don't want to wash my hand. I like my hand just the way it is. Dirty and fine. Uh, Sigmund, Sigmund, Sigmund. Um, if your mom wants you to wash your hand, you should wash it. Well, no, no, no. I don't want to wash my hand. It's my hand. Sigmund, you get down here right now and wash your hand. Um, Sig Sigmund, Sigmund, um, I, I don't know how to help you with this, but, but don't you love your mom? Well, yeah, I love my mom. Well, when you love somebody, you're supposed to listen to them. Well, even if they tell you to wash your hand, I don't want to wash my hand. Well, I think it even says something about it in the Bible. I'll bet you Pastor Todd knows about washing your hand and about listening and obeying and obedience. You think so? Yeah, we should listen to see what he has to say. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you caught me washing my hands. I'm washing my hands so that I can stay nice and healthy. Sigmund sure didn't want to wash his hands, did he? He didn't want to listen to his mother either. It's very important to listen to your mother because she tells you things because she loves you. That reminds me of something in the Bible. I want to read a verse for you from the Bible. It's from the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. And Jesus said, If you love me, you'll keep my commands. See, Jesus loved us so much and he wanted us to love him. And when we love him, we show him that we love him by doing the things that he says. Jesus loved us and he died for us and rose again for us. And so now he tells us to love each other and to be able to help each other and take care of each other. And we do that because Jesus loves us. 
I hope Sigmund can learn that lesson because it's very important to listen to the people that love you. His mother wants him to have good, clean hands so he'll be healthy. And when he does that and listens to his mother, then he's also showing love to Jesus. Oh, so when we love somebody like we love Jesus, we're supposed to do what Jesus says. Yeah, and obey him because he loves us and he wants what's best for us. Probably your mom wants you to wash your hands because she wants you to be healthy. She doesn't want you to get sick. You think so? Yeah, I think so. So you probably should listen to her. Sigmund, you get down here right this minute. Okay, Mom, I'm coming. I'll wash my hand. Oh, see you later. Well, Sigmund learned that because Jesus loves us, we want to do what Jesus says. Just like because our mother loves us, we want to do what our mother says. What a wonderful, wonderful message. So I hope that you'll remember that all this week and remember that Jesus loves you each and every day. So you have a wonderful week and we'll close with a prayer. Open, shut, open, open shut, shut, give, give a, a little, little clap. clap. Open, open, shut, open, shut, shut fold, fold them in your lap. lap. Dear God, dear God, thank you, thank you for helping us to learn, for helping us to learn that we should obey you, that we should obey you because you love us, because you love us and we should love you and we should love you because you love us, because you love us. Watch over us today, watch over us today and every day and every day. Amen. Amen. All right. See you later. God bless. Bye bye.